card. 2. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, we discuss ways to sell your art online. And in today's video, we're discussing how to use AI to create designs for Redbubble. So AI stands for artificial intelligence and machine learning has come a long way since the 1980s when digital art started as an art form. Nowadays, we have a lot of different programs that you can access on different platforms such as Mac, PC, or on your mobile device that can create some great, amazing artificial intelligence designs that you take a picture and it can use the AI to create something fantastic, beautiful that maybe you wouldn't have come up with had it not been for these programs. So I believe in AI as an assistant to digital art and you can come up with some great designs to upload to Redbubble using this technology. So art isn't just painting or drawing. A lot of people now use digital input such as computers to create their art and it's fine. You can use all sorts of different tools and techniques to create art that you can upload to Redbubble. So using software, you can go ahead and take a picture and upload it to the software and that software will create a painting, a drawing, graffiti, whatever you would like to add as a filter to that particular picture. It can create something different that you would never be able to achieve on your own unless you're a professional painter. As with anything that you're using someone else's property, in this case the software, make sure that the copyright for that software allows you to have full ownership of all the output that you make from your designs. So if you have uploaded a picture and are planning on uploading it to Redbubble, you want to make sure that that software is not going to come back and say that it's their property. So make sure that you read the terms and conditions to any software that you're using for your digital art so that you're not caught up in some sort of dispute over the design once it's created. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're using other people's software to create your designs is that you want full ownership of anything that you create with their software. So in addition to software and apps, there's also a lot of websites that use a lot of powerful computing power to generate images. Uh, one website that I've used in the past is Be Funky to create art. And I think it's uh, one of the beginner's choice when it comes to digital art that you can try for free. But a lot of the software that uh, really takes an image and manipulates it needs a lot of computing power to create a high definition picture. So sometimes a lot of the better programs are actually hosted online. So I like to try sites and apps that are free first and that offer a path to a paid membership or a paid app uh, so that I can try out the app and see if it's what I need for my particular designs and if it passes the mustard with me and I find that that program or site or app works to the types of designs that I want to create, then I might pay for the program. Uh, other than that, there are tons of free sites, websites, apps that you can use to create AI art. And it's just a matter of doing some Google searches and then coming back to YouTube and seeing how some of these programs work to get the most out of your designs. This video is more about giving you the influence to go out and find AI software that can help you with your designs and to start getting you into a different path than maybe some of the art that you've been uploading currently to Redbubble. So if you are looking for more details on how to make AI art, then I suggest that you do some Google search on the actual techniques to get started. So to recap, AI software will take your digital image and turn it into a piece of art based on the criteria that you've selected in the program. So it could be into a landscape, into a drawing. It could be whatever the criteria is that the software supports. Every time I play around with AI software to manipulate my images, it always surprises me at the outcome and how beautiful something can look after it's been filtered through one of these programs. And it turns something that I didn't even envision into something that now is very beautiful and that I could upload to Redbubble and get more sales from a piece of art that maybe didn't have that shine until I used AI to change it and make it something better. So if you guys haven't tried AI, I suggest that you play around with it. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. And if you hit the like button, you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm. We're constantly putting up content on how to use print on demand sites to make more money with your art. So don't forget to join us in the next one. And until then, Keep uploading and have a good day, guys.